the prophetic word from Daniel chapter 5 verse 21. And I just took that from that little booklet that they gave me. They, for even the visitors they are giving, hey, pray for the elections in uh, India. Then I was like woken up. Really, they are even calling the people who come to pray for the elections. How much more the church in America should be praying for the elections. You tell me that. And how many minutes are you clocking to pray for the elections? If you are not doing that, we have just seven more months to go. The ones that will be elected will be the one that will be responsible for that syllabus that they will teach you in your school. Okay? Th those are the people that are forming the syllabus. If you pray, they will put the good things. If you don't pray, then there is no guarantee. Even the kids, I would encourage you to pray. How many kids will pray for the upcoming elections? Pray for this one point that the righteous people will be elected. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you. Pray that righteous people will sit in that seats of power in all the seven mountains in the government. That's what we are going to pray for in the legislative, executive, judiciary. We will see the righteous people, the people that fear the Lord throughout the scripture. We see about the kings. The only thing that the Bible talks about it, whether or not they feared God. That's it. That's it. Whether or not they, they fear God. So why should we not pray for the God-fearing people to come to those elected positions and will sit on that seat of power with that?